Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to your Java series. This video, we're gonna be talking about how to take an array and get a sorted array. Yeah. So first, you know what? You need to be checking out our sponsor. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. All right, so this is actually really easy. So you could go and create a custom algorithm to sort the array. And there's a chance that might be what you're here for. And I'm sorry to disappoint, that's not what we're gonna be talking about in this video because usually I don't see the point in recreating something if there's already a solution to the problem. If you need really specific rules or some particular algorithm for sorting, you can definitely look up how to do that and try to code it yourself, but there's actually something that already exists. So you just say arrays dot sort, and then in here you put the array grades. Hovering over this, you can see that this is void. So what that means is it doesn't return a new array. It's actually going to modify the array you are working with. So grades will be modified. So let's output this just to see what happens. We'll say sys out, and then in here we're going to pass arrays dot to string and we're going to pass in grades running this and we get one two three five seventy two awesome so you can see we just sorted an array there's also another one which is getting rid of sort we just say parallel sort and this is also going to take grades like so running this you see we get the exact same output so hovering over parallel sort, we can get a little bit more information about this. So this is a parallel sort merge. It breaks the array into subarrays that are themselves sorted, and then they are merged together. So if you are working with a very large array, this might be the method for you.